cost gear and today we're making tail covers for the cost tail. We have two patterns up for free on the cost gear app. One is a straight cat tail pattern and the other is a more tapered fox tail pattern. All you'll need is faux fur, a sewing machine, an elastic or velcro, and like thread and scissors and stuff. I'll use the trusty cost gear app planner to make it easy to follow along. So let's craft. Download one or both of the cost tail patterns from the cost gear app. It's available in both US letter and A4 size and is five to six pages. Print it out, tape it together, and then cut it out. There's also this option to make the tip a contrast color, which I am gonna do, so I'm cutting that out as well. On the foxtail pattern, there's also this little section to cut out so that you can sew a dart there later. Now get your main fabric and take note of which direction the fur is going. You want the fur fibers to be towards the tip and away from the base of the tail. I'm making sure it's the correct direction and then tracing my pattern. These markings aren't going to show anyway. And same thing with the tip of the pattern. This pattern already accounts for the seam allowance, though the seam allowance is pretty narrow. I'm cutting these out with a razor blade, just hard enough to cut through the canvas fabric without cutting all the way through to the fur fibers. So if you're doing the contrast tip, go ahead and line up your two pieces and then pin them together. I like to pin at these tick marks and then fill the spaces in between. And now I'm sewing that down with a straight stitch a couple of millimeters from the edge. And once you're done, you can go ahead and cut off the excess threads, flip it over, brush it out, and see how that fur blends together in case you want to make any adjustments. Now I'm using a wig brush to comb all of the fibers away from the edge so that it's a little bit easier to pin together. I'm lining up the parts where the two colors meet first and then just pinning around the perimeter and sewing that down also with a straight stitch about a quarter inch from the edge. I'm gonna cut a little bit of that seam allowance from the tip of the tail just to make it slightly easier to flip inside out. And now the hardest part, which is flipping it inside out. I picked a super long fluffy fur, so it is kind of a pain in the butt, but a meter stick or yard stick can really help you out. Once you finally have it flipped, you can go ahead and sew the elastic or add Velcro if you prefer. You may want to test that your cover actually fits on the cost tail first, but I've done this like a zillion times, so I'm just going for it. The fur is fluffy enough that you shouldn't see these two stitches. And then this strap just goes over the computer box part of the cost tail, and I'm ready to go. Now you can experiment with making cost tail covers. I highly recommend playing around with cool textures, especially if you're making something like a tiefling tail. The clearance section of fabric store is always full of good finds. Let us know what other videos you'd like to see or join our discord to talk craft with other cosplayers. And check out the cost gear app planner if you want to keep your projects organized. It's completely free and up in the mobile app store now. And until next time, I'm Hunter with cost gear. We can't wait to see what you bring to life. <laughs>